Hey guys, Jader here with you. So, a lot of people have been asking for a Minecraft tour. That have been watching Wills 24-7 know that we all play Minecraft together. So, I'm going to do my base tour. I'm the most advanced on the server. I think Wills is still living in a hole in the ground. Uh, Buck hasn't really been around. Grandpa hasn't been around. So, it's been pretty much Norm and I. So, this is Spawn. Spawn's literally just over there a little bit. So, here's where I started building. Doesn't look like much, right? Just wait. So I have immersive engineering windmills. I have two on the go. It's currently powering absolutely nothing. They look good. I need to clean it up a little bit more. I want to make it a little bit better. But I have two windmills. Sugar cane farm. I mean, who doesn't always need paper? I have two Steve's carts factories. Or two Steve's carts tree farms on the go. I have two uh, forestry farms on the go. So this one here is doing carrots, that one's doing wheat, and then tree farms. And you guys will see what all this is for here in a second. Walk back down my path. So everything on this tree farms runs back to this point. Runs back into the crate. I know it says glass on the top of my screen, but it's a crate. Because I have this all glassed in, so mobs will stop my stop messing with my cart. But for some reason, it's not even going underneath properly. But hey, it uh, goes to the crate. The crate goes into the hopper. The hopper goes into the item unloader, or the item loader. Loads up the mine cart, which for some reason it's not doing its job right. But I'll figure that out in a bit. And then this mine cart runs this tunnel. It actually triggers two detector rails that'll open and close. See, open and closes the garage door from either side, so it's pretty cool. And then if I go in here, this was my initial room. I actually wanted to make it look as plain as possible so that when people came in, they just look and it's like, wow, okay, he's done nothing. But I've changed it out a little bit, added some wood and stuff. My original staircase to bedrock goes all the way down to bedrock from their bed. Uh, mining world portal and another portal are all in here. And I'll probably build any more portals that I happen to. Like I said, this just goes down to strip mine area. Random room there that was strip mined out. Another room here with a bunch of strip mine. And that goes all the way down to bedrock. And then this wood here is actually because I had built it up. Like blocked it off for a while. Or if we didn't want to go anything coming up from the bottom, that was there. When you walk in through uh, Marissa doors, and these doors actually turn invisible. So it's step on the pressure plate, the doors turn invisible. So I have like a wooden seating area here kind of deal. The mine cart comes down, comes here, unloads into an item unloader. Underneath, the redstone torch is actually powering this track to keep it going. We come down here, and this is where all the tree farm stuff goes. All the farms come into here. And this is a separate network. So if I open this up, I have, you know, mulch, saplings, wood, seeds, wheat. All the wood goes into the alloy smelters, gets made into charcoal, feeds into this compacting drawer, which makes blocks. Blocks fuel these 18 sterling generators that are pumping up 40 RF per tick. I have four combustion generators here that are running off of uh, ethanol and water, which also produce 40 RF per tick when I needed to, and that's what this bucket is, is ethanol. Uh, we have stills that are taking biofuel, or biomass, and making it into ethanol. And to make the biomass, I am using oak saplings mulch. I'll go to one that's actually working. Fruit juice and biomass makes bi uh, which makes biomass. Sorry, so the fruit juice goes onto the sapling, which makes biomass, and you need mulch to assist as well in the fermenting process. And to make the fruit juice, I'm actually using apples and carrots uh, into a squeezer, which also is a byproduct of mulch. So I have that running. That's actually almost out. <laughs> But yeah, and that's producing me right now. I have an input of 620-ish, let's say. And for some reason, my power drain went through the roof. 
because this was stable and should be stable, but it's not. I gotta figure out what keeps happening there. But that's this room. This holds a total of 3 million RF, and I have one that holds 16 million. So I have a total of 19 million RF storage. And this is the main room. So you come down this staircase, which is nether brick stairs with basalt bricks. And you'll notice that there's no torches because I'm actually using painted glowstone. So if you come over here, this is all my a, uh, ME stuff or uh, applied energistics. So here's my main crafting panel and you'll see all my resources that I have. I have lots of everything. Uh, pattern terminal, interface, charger. This storage drawer here is just for uh, your, uh, yellow uranium. Uranium, yellow uranium. And I'll show you guys what that's for in a second. Uh, inscribers, growth chamber. I was working on extra, uh, actually additions or actually additions. Don't really know it all too well. Steve's card assembler, ender chest tied into my network. Tinker's construct here for all of our tools and weaponry. Anvil and a enchanter. Uh, this here is also from extra utilities. Two coke ovens. Or, sorry, these aren't coke ovens. These are blast ovens from immersive engineering. And they're out of coal. Or coal coke, sorry, not coal. Get those going back up right quick. Sounds like there's a zombie around here somewhere. Ender Pearl Farm. Uh, this is all done from seeds from destroying grass. More compacting drawers. Here's all my alloy smelters and sag mills. These are all actually automated onto my AE network or my ME network, whatever you want to call it. Uh, down here I have two, two lanes like this planned out. And obviously, guys, you won't see the cobble when it's done. It'll just be the basalt with machinery. But uh, on here, I'm probably going to do a full run of Ender I.O. That's not tied into anything. There's power, so it's a manual operation on this side. I'll probably do IC2, uh, thermal dynamics, and then forestry. All in, this lane, all in these lanes. And then if you come down this set of stairs, here's my 16 million... RF bank, and for some reason I'm running through. No, okay, I'm making a gain now. Uh, and then you come down these stairs, and I have Batania. I'm just going to get some more mana going by dropping off some coal in my endo flames. Storage chest here for Batania. More Batania. Uh, different color sheep so that I can get different color wool for my AE network. Uh, this had them originally too. I'm kind of still working on what I want to do in here to automate this. Just white sheet. Uh, all my crafting. So this is all my automated crafting from AE or ME, whatever title you want to call it. There's 16 channels in here. So 16 interfaces all surrounded by molecular assemblers. A giant controller with my crafting grids in it, but they're going to be moving to their own network area. Uh, once I get their random panel just for this floor, all my ME drives, the top three over here are for 64K drives. Uh, and this one here is a mixture of four 1Ks and a bunch of fours. And this one is empty. And this one here has four Ks. And I'm planning on running dense cable over here. So right now it's an eight channel max that I have over here which is seven channels right here in drives and then one that'll tie into the next thing that I'm going to show you. So that's this floor and all the main floor staircases guys. So right now, all everything that's right here above this is actually in a chunk. So everything here is in one chunk the way that I have it built. So if I come back up here, you'll see all this is one solid chunk. While I'm on this floor, I'll show you a hidden area. Well, it's not really hidden due to the staircase, but up here it's just 
giant empty room. There's the back half of that 16 million capacitor bank. You'll see here, this will show at 75%, it'll emit a redstone signal. Uh, I'm currently having a output of 1000 RF and an input of zero for some reason. But this big reactor barely ever runs. And I mean barely ever runs. It doesn't need to kick in. But it's set to kick on if that cap bank drops below 75%. So that's my emergency power situation if my tree farm ever happens to stall out. So here's where all my power goes to. I have a mining rig. Uh, this is from Environmental Tech. I've never used it before until now. I still have to get other stuff done so that I can get those gray blocks inside are actually meant for upgrades. And this actually has to see bedrock. So you look straight down here, right down to bedrock, and every floor down looks like this. Uh, and it's mapped out into an 11 by 11, which is the tier 4 of this. This is a tier 2. So, And then we have hatchways on either side, and either side here are the chunks. And if I keep going down, this floor here is going to be my blood magic room. Uh, but I haven't really done a whole lot with that. Like I said, guys, I'm probably the most advanced on the server. So, yeah, just figured I'd give you guys a quick little tour of my base. With that being said, guys, take it easy. Have a good one. Don't forget, comment, rate, and subscribe.